So we have a um, um, kind of an onboarding uh, that we do. We have a pretty extensive project plan that where we go on and understand how you're working with those small business customers, um, understand the nuances of each one of those small business customers. And a lot of times what happens is that tribal knowledge is in people's heads. We get that tribal knowledge out of the bookkeepers, accountants' heads, and we document standard operating procedures. Um, then we transition for, uh, you know, if it's after the fact, it's usually about a two month time frame. So the first month we're understanding the nuances, we're closing out the books, doing the reconciliations and so on and so forth by the 5th, 10th, 12th, 15th of the month. And then the secondary month, we're still in that transition phase and we go through it the second month. And then the third month we're in what's called steady state. So we're able to can understand the um, small business um, owner's books and uh, be able to convey what we're doing, how we're doing it to you, um, so that you're able to communicate that and have, and have those monthly or quarterly sit downs with your customers and explain the financial um, statements and packages to them. On an ongoing basis, we um, set up um, bi-weekly, monthly calls so that we can walk through what's happening on the books so that you're just as knowledgeable as if you were doing those books yourselves. Um, we can leverage workflow to be able to put specific questions in there and so on and so forth. The team lead is your single point of contact. Um, and then you would have a, um, um, a customer success um, um, expert that would work along with you to actually train some of your employees on how to leverage the Bathwest scale model. Uh, not with this model, we do not. This is only for accountants. Um, for the PathQuest business intelligence tool, they can, um, you know, um, if it's a single company or a multi-location, they can purchase the PathQuest business intelligence individually, but this model does not work with individual businesses. So we have firms that leverage this, um, you know, we have um, one, one firm that has almost 1,800 small businesses that we work with all the way down to, you know, we have firms that have 30 small businesses we work with. So we, we run the gamut on as far as who we work with on the accounting firms. Um, so it, it, it varies depending on what your, your challenges are and what needs you have. Yes, the scale includes the automation side of, of BI so that everything is inclusive of that. It depends on the type of accounting you're using, whether you're, if you're using a live end-to-end um, -end accrual based accounting, it'll be real time for those uh, small businesses. If it's after the fact, it would be on a cash basis, um, it would be the previous month would be the most current. And then once the books are closed out, a notification could go out to those small business owners saying that the dashboards and reporting are done. I think the, the biggest thing we are seeing from accountants and their small business owners is um, one, one of the feedbacks we have with a, um, um, a small business owner that owned multiple locations was that he runs his business now off his mobile phone to be able to look at the dashboards and the reporting and what's going on by location. And it allows him to be a better owner and conjunction with the firm, the accountant, um, and working with him on what they should be looking for. So digital transformation or automation and cloud really helps your small business owners. And as you can see by the statistics, a lot of your small business owners are ahead of where your firms are when it comes to automation and technology. And so we're trying to help catch up so that we can even the platform uh, or even the playing field to bring you up um, on automation to help you help your customers. So we evaluate each one, whether they're cash or accrual based, um, but we, we um, go through about a two week onboarding process where we start um, documenting standard operating procedures, um, but we can move as quickly as you need to move. Um, and parallel to what we're doing on the accounting side, we'll be working on setting up PathQuest and all the dashboards and reporting off of that. And traditionally, once we're a month or two in, um, you're starting to generate those um, better dashboards off of the, um, off of the uh, um, business intelligence platform, but we can move as quickly as you need to move based off the number of customers that you have. So as I said, um, it, uh, we, can, we can send you some of the technical requirements, but it's very secure. Um, it's built on an Azure platform.net um, and all the security behind this. So we can share with um, the, the, who's ever asking that question, we can share with you what that looks like. Well, that's all the time we have today. We hope this session was informative. We will be creating new discussions very soon. Thanks for tuning in and have a great day.